Good morning, everyone. I wanted to pop in today and explain a little bit about what we do at Woodburn Accountants and Advisors and what I do as a China market entry expert. Some of you might not know the background to our business. Um, a little bit of background is that my father started the business back in the 70s in Hong Kong. The business evolved itself tremendously over the last 30, 40 odd years. And um, we're very proud to say that we are a boutique advisory and corporate services firm headquartered in Hong Kong with a Shanghai subsidiary. Our main objective is to help foreign investors. So that implies entrepreneurs as well as companies that are headquartered in uh, the US, in Canada, in England, in Australia, New Zealand, Germany, France, Benelux re region, basically anywhere outside of China. So incorporated outside of China that are looking to expand and create their international expansion into Asia, predominantly into China or and or Hong Kong. And the services that we offer are everything from pre-investment advisory. So you know, educating you on what you need to know about running, setting up, running, operating a business in Hong Kong and China. What are the pitfalls? What are the advantages? How to create a solid foundation for the business? And then ultimately we help you to run and administer those companies that are actually then incorporated in those regions. Now, as part of this pre-investment advisory, you know, not every single company will approach us wanting to establish a company in China right there and then. They might be in a very early stage period of their expansion and they may want to transact directly with China first or directly transact directly with other Asian countries as well. And as a consequence, just want to understand maybe the paperwork flow, um, the tax obligations, who is responsible for what in terms of taxes, um, what are customs duty rates, what are VAT rates, um, how should the contract formulation work, what does trademark protection or patent protection look like, etc. These are all the types of things you have to think about prior to transacting in China and prior to setting up any forms of contracts with distributors, with suppliers, with any third party agents, etc. So our aim and our mission is to make sure that companies that are looking to expand into the Chinese market are fully protected, um, ha are creating solid foundations where ultimately, and this is truly what our mission is, where ultimately they can grow and scale up at a pace that they wish, avoiding all of the most common obstacles and pitfalls that most foreign investors encounter. Now, why do I do what I do? Well, I've been now 17 and a half years in this industry of corporate services, helping foreign investors get into the Chinese market. Um, prior to COVID, I was sitting in Shanghai, um, helping these companies directly. And since COVID, I've been based out of Luxembourg, helping companies from here with my team on the ground to facilitate the actual services that we offer. Why do we do what we do? Well, because I entered China in 2003 with our family business. And I, like many of my close friends who I met in Shanghai, encountered the silliest of obstacles. The absurdities that were created because we lost all form of common sense going into China. And it was cultural there were language barriers, there were misunderstandings, there was miscommunication, there was not hiring the right people. And mind you, in those days, we were all in our 20s with very little work experience. And I, for me, if I could turn back time, it would be to learn from those that had been in the market for over 10, 15 years. And unfortunately, social media didn't exist. There was no form of others educating, right? It was either you found a lawyer and you hoped that lawyer knew what they were doing. 
Um, but even there, that wasn't always the case. Um, you know, back, back in the days of my father in the 70s, it truly was the wild, wild west. But even when we were entering in the early 2000s, it was still the wild, wild west for many. And I want to prevent this from happening to others. Our company in those days did not scale up as quickly as we would have liked because of the obstacles that we encountered, that we hadn't predicted, um, and we hadn't created that solid foundation. And if I look at my friends who were working for companies back in those days, or even set up their own businesses in Shanghai, it was the same story. Nobody was thinking about creating that solid foundation to their business so that they could scale up. To be honest, we were all winging it. It was like, okay, we're on the right track and then suddenly pops on and you have to figure things out. And, you know, we're now in 2022 where we have the ability to learn from the past experiences of others and get an education on how to create these solid foundations without having to wing it, without having to um, guesstimate, estimate, and, and assume and make these types of assumptions. We have the ability to work with experts in a variety of different fields and industries who can 